Hello everyone, I'm Andy Lowe from NHL Draft Central, and today we'll take a quick look at my scouting notes from October 24th on 2021 NHL Draft eligible Joshua Roy. This was a beautiful showing from Roy, who used his superb hockey senses, outstanding creativity, and brilliant puck handling abilities to play an effective game through all three zones. The Canadian prospect read and press test information very quickly on breakouts, which allowed him to find outlets promptly without any hesitation. He excelled at weaving through sticks and pressure to find the right passing lanes thanks to nifty edge work, fantastic spatial recognition and lightning quick hands. Despite an habit to lay back in transition due to a subpar acceleration and speed, I thought Roy got involved on counter-attacks very well tonight. He was far from a menace with the puck, but when he kept his feet moving, he could follow the offense and get to his spot effectively. The cycle play was once again his darling tonight, as he floated around dangerous areas as a constant scoring threat and showed his complete skill set in tight. What stands out for his excellent instinctive positioning, being able to jump on rebounds without decent quickness and sneaking his way behind the defense. The 2021 NHL Draft eligible also flashed extraordinary shift teammates to dangle in traffic and make his win to the slot. He will need to improve his shooting power to be a threat from outside, but his wicked scoring touch and remarkably accurate wrist shot already allows him to bury high danger chances with precision or even thread the needle from tough angles. Who is also a terrific passer, he uses wonderful anticipation and a sublime touch to place box at the perfect spot. He displays an encouraging tenacity along the boards and a great puck protection despite his on-field frame. Playing at a disadvantage through poor skating abilities and a lack of upper body strength has enabled Roy to develop certain parts of his game that others didn't necessarily touch. He has great instincts, a tremendous vision, nifty puck protection, phenomenal puck skills and a spectacular touch, all developed to adjust to his shortcomings. If a team believes they can improve his athletic abilities, they might just come out with a special player. Thanks to his offensive potential, I would start to look at Roy at the end of the second, early third. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.